everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> if you don't already know who I am my name is ice amber and you are now officially an icicle let's just go secure that and hit that subscribe button down below now down to business it is curl fest 2024 Yay! <laughs> I am currently at Paige and Pop's house, but let me tell y'all, I am attending Curl Fest this year, not as like a regular attendee. I am going VIP. I am going official Curl Fest media squad, and I am so excited. Um, Paige is gonna be my plus one today. Yesterday afternoon into the night, I went to a brunch with the founders and other sponsors of Curl Fest. I had the time of my life, so let's go back to last night. Back, a few years back, actually, right behind my house, I got introduced to Candace, 
two of Orphan of Mayavana. And uh, Mayavana is truly the future of healthy hair care, um, particularly because it is designed for you in particular. When Candace was building this, I had no idea what she was talking about because <laughs> who knew that AI and SI was going to be a thing? But right now, AI and SI is taking over our world of the flow. You can take several pictures of your hair. You take several pictures of your hair. And then from those uh, pictures, it will assess it properly, okay? And the only reason why it's different is to give you a little hesitation. The only reason why it's different is because you really don't see your, see your true texture until it gets past about four to six inches. Come on, guys, give it up for girl fast. Work that we have to do. Right. 
And when we show up in communities like this, and you guys show us love and you pour into us, it's more evident that we're doing the right thing. I know, I know we belong like my friend. <laughs> But I will say that it's um, oftentimes we don't get the opportunity to pause and smell the flowers. So I really appreciate this moment. Um, we never get to really celebrate ourselves. And so like for you all to come together to celebrate us is such a blessing. Oh, been on the ground since day one. We've been doing this work for 13 years. Curl Fest is 10 years old this year. Wow. Woo! But we've been doing this for longer than that, right? We've never not done the work, like bare hands done the work. My, my friend over there said, break, right, break, and there's nothing more true than that. And we have to shift and pivot. We're like ducking and dodging, like, you know, all of the things that are coming our way, all of the challenges. One day I'll write a book about it. I told them, I said, when I retire, I'll write a book about the things that we had to go through to get to where we are today. Yeah, like seriously, we don't talk about those things, but it's important, right? Because a lot of us are going through similar struggles and as black women, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to stand in this place and say we own 100% mm -hmm. and operate this business yeah. and we've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. And so it's a community like y'all supporting us that helps us and drives us to keep going. So emphatically, I'm gonna say thank you. I can't say thank you enough. What else is there to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I do think, um, it is these moments that like lift us back up. Yeah. Here she goes. Oh. 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 I need them. Oh. 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 No. Yeah. How you go? Oh. I'm crying. But it really is, you know. It's like most of what we do is has been from day one just about community and to see whether it's a big crowd or a small intimate crowd like this to know that people are still showing up. It validates what we're doing. It validates the long nights, the hard, you know, it's like we, we did a few interviews and people were like, oh, you guys started a gra grassroots in the living room. I'm like, we're still in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> still there. And I think it's the moments, it's the little comments, the, oh, this is my third year, oh, this is my first year, this is my sixth year. It's like being able to connect one to one you guys have no idea how much that feels, right? And you know, humbly, right? We've we've garnered a certain level of success depending on whose eyes. And people may think we're like this big, massive company, we're not, right? And so when we have people who are inclined and just offer their support to us, it goes so far. Oh my God! Please. <laughs> The hardest things, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. You may not know it today, you may not know it tomorrow, but every single step that we take, there is a, a result that comes of that that is, you don't even know what that impact might be. So I would say, you know, as we commune together, just know that your presence matters. You know, it's the fuel, it's literally the fuel that gets us through the hard times. And there's a lot of great times too, you know, but you're just getting the vulnerability of what it is to be an entrepreneur who has a vision that's bigger than us. And, and, and that's really, you know, what it is. So, I should not have done it. <laughs> Perm, whatever, yes. and Curl Fest 2024, yes. bad bitches don't crease. Yes. 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 Do not edit out a single second. I'm serious. I'm serious. Do not edit a thing, tears and all. Put it all out there. Black women are the most powerful, they are the source of humanity. Yes. yes. And it's stories like that, against all odds, mm -hmm. where you find a way to get shit done. done. <laughs> Why mm -hmm. Curl Fest is such an important cause and idea. Mm -hmm. It bottles that energy 
for y'all. Beautiful thing. There will be good times and there will be bad times. It's never linear. Yeah. I can write the book. <laughs> but if you believe in yourself and if your community shows up, yeah. And not just showing up for the cocktails and the nice dinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's talking to your communities about what these ladies are trying to create and sustain. Um, so come to Crowfest tomorrow! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so as y'all could see, it was a freaking vibe. And you guys know anywhere where them have my kind of music and them have my kind of, you know, culture. A little spice in there. I have the time of my life and food don't forget food because y'all know I love my belly so now it is about nine o'clock or ten o'clock in the morning and curl fest starts about 12 I don't have such a shebang like put that shit on outfit but I feel like the way I'm gonna do my hair is gonna be enough to like stand out it's cute I really think the accessories and the hair are gonna elevate it to where it needs to be. I'm gonna start my hair in a little bit because I just need to make sure that I'm actually gonna like what I wanna do to my hair because it looks cute in my head, but can I execute it right? We're gonna see because y'all know I don't usually do my hair, but I'm on my own today, so. Yeah. <laughs> My arm hurts. Keep going. <laughs> you guys, I'm tired of this grandma. <laughs> Porridge. Paige made the bacon in the microwave. I think they can tell. If you are guilty of making your bacon in the microwave, I know you know what it looks like. <laughs> I'm sure it's still gonna be yum. Uncle taught me to do that. Okay. <laughs> There's two types of people in this world. My uncle taught me to do that. I'm not complaining. I'm being friend, right? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I had to redo my intro because my camera is finally back in service. Breakfast was yummy. Paige's mommy made us some caramel porridge and Paige made some bacon in the microwave. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, don't tell Paige, but the microwave bacon wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It actually was very similar to how you do it in the pot, except, except without the oil. It almost makes me wonder, what is worse for you? The oil that you use when you make bacon in the pot or the radiation from the microwave? I'm fresh and clean, just took a shower. Isn't that a song? What? Fresh and clean, just took a shower. So fresh and so clean, clean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> something isn't like something so fresh. Yeah, something so fresh and took so a clean, shower. Clean. Something, something, something took about an hour. So, you don't know what I'm singing? Do y'all know what I'm singing? <laughs> Absolutely not. Somebody gotta know what I'm singing. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Fresh out the shower, gotta stay fresh, take about an hour. <laughs> Anyways, though, I'm about to do my skincare and I'm gonna do my hair before I do anything to my face. I'm still trying to decide if I'm doing any makeup because my skin has been freaking the fuck out lately. I burned my skin with kojic acid and so I've been nursing it back to help help. I've been nursing it back to health with these two products. I'm gonna show you guys what they are. Literally these two things the soap that I've been using I was using either the Cetaphil gentle cleanser or I just use the CeraVe um what is it foaming cleanser that's what Paigey has but I believe that these things are like just formulated for sensitive skin I'm like struggling with two things at once like I burned my myself by my eyes and like down here with the kojic acid but I have like really bad hyperpigmentation and like clogged pores hair. So how do I do both? Take care of the really clogged pores that need a little bit more like exfoliation and chemical exfoliation while I'm nursing this back to health? I don't know. So I've kind of just been 
saying, fuck it, don't focus on the cheeks as much and let's just get this back to normal. And then once we get this back to normal, we can go back to like exfoliating for the cheeks and stuff. But surprisingly, these products I feel like have been helping more with my cheeks than so much other stuff that I've been using for how long. And I also did some aloe. My aunt told me to get like the aloe plant from the Korean store and I would put it on my face every day for four, three days straight and I saw a difference in my cheeks. I was like, okay. Maybe I've been doing this wrong the whole time, but I'm gonna make like a specific video on how I healed my skin because I know I'm not the only one who's fucking my shit up out here. So, these two saved my life. Girl, I went to the beauty supply store because when we were younger, McCoy used to buy um, like stuff from there to help us like with our dark elbows and dark knees and stuff like that and like um the hyperpigmentation from like mosquito bites and all that shit so i went and i was looking and i was like you know do they have any soaps that would work because as you know like i'm working on my bikini line and whatnot so i'm like let me see if i can find a soap that would help me just clear this hyperpigmentation and then i've been hearing everybody keep talking about this kojic acid yeah. and then when i'm on instagram i'm seeing these people using the kojic acid on their face mm -hmm. so when i went to the beauty supply store and i saw a kojic acid soap i was like okay yeah it makes sense i wasn't even using it every day i was using it maybe like every other couple days because i i feel like i know anything that like has like the bleaching kind of yeah. aspect to it you shouldn't use every single day but I noticed that like the, around my eyes started to get like itchy. And I was like, maybe I'm just like having an allergic reaction. But it just continually got worse. And then I was like, okay, it has to be something new that I'm using because this never happened before and I don't know what's making it flare up. So I stopped using the soap and I realized it was the soap. Like it was blistered. Not like visually split blistered, but like the skin was like just raw. When I was doing the photo shoot for four days, I had to, have makeup on so I'm like how am I gonna put makeup on over this and then it was making my eyes look like droopy when me and Lexi went to the store I was like okay I know I need something it's itching and I know the barrier is completely fucked from the soap so I saw these and it was like barrier repair mm -hmm. long-lasting moisture hydration helps restore the protective skin barrier I was like okay Good. Yes, it sounds like what I need. This Miss Jessie's is good. I love, um, there was something from her that I liked, that I had used years ago. I like this, I need to buy this. The only thing I hate about these like things is that I have so much hair. That I'm like, is my hair gonna make it? Like how much uses am I really gonna get? Yo, this is what I'm using. It smells so good. Uh, look at the definition, honey. Pillow soft. Pillow soft. That is what attracted me to it, too. Because I hate a crunchy curl. <laughs> curl fest, here we come. We're definitely going to spend some money today. Because curl fest is where they have all the products for, like, cheap, cheap, cheap. My first curl fest was 2018. Isn't that crazy? 2018 or 2017, maybe. I want to do like three Bantu knots, but I want to do a braid too. So I think I'm gonna do my braid like this. Oh my father. Why is your phone not on the charger? It needs to go on the charger right now. A dead phone stresses me out. So a dead phone stresses me out. <laughs> stresses me out. But it only stresses me out once it dies. Hello. Okay, that's good. I think that is a decent size for the braid. Not show my this. I'm trying to do this braid as tight as possible. Such a pretty braid. Now I have come such a long way. Like my relationship with my hair has developed so much. And look at how sexy that braid is. Growing up, my hair was never my responsibility. When I was in elementary school, it was mostly my grandma 
and my dad that would do my hair and when my mom had to do our hair she would just basically like flat iron it or blow it out most of the time she used to do the cutest finger coils like she used to take us to the bathroom and wet our hair and then just go like this my grandma used to do my hair a lot like every two weeks she used to have us braided up and when she couldn't have us braided up my dad would do our hair a lot i used to hate to have my hair braided like i used to well i used to love when she used to put beads in it I used to love when she would like do pretty designs but when she used to just be tired and don't want to do it and she would give us the Sean Paul braids I absolutely hated it I used to go to school and I used to look in the mirror and I used to cry and they used to be like I look like a boy <laughs> I always used to think my hair and my curls were my beauty whenever like I felt like my hair wasn't showing its full potential whether it be the length when it was straight or it be the curls and I used to feel like I looked ugly or if I didn't have my hair in my face. Now that I'm older I can appreciate more of my hair being out my face because I understand more of like my natural beauty but back then I didn't get it. I didn't see it. But when I got to middle school my sister was born. Phoenix was born. My mom got pregnant and it was just kind of like once Phoenix came into the picture, it was like every man for themselves. And my older sister, she took, definitely took on the burden of helping us do our hair a lot. Thank God for her. Like I used to leave my hair in buns for, when I say weeks at a time, I'm not joking. Like weeks at a time, not detangle it, not moisturize it, not do anything to it. And the only thing like I really knew how to do which now I know it's not good for my hair, but I just used to get in the shower and wet my hair every day. I used to be one of those. I just put my hair in it. <laughs> it took like me just kind of wanting to be more independent to actually start learning about how to take care of my hair. And you know, as much as like big sisters are amazing, sometimes they do make you feel like a little bit of a burden. But I look at it as like a blessing in disguise, you know, because if I didn't feel like a burden, I would have never taken the initiative to learn more about my hair or even just do better in taking care of it. So that's what's partially exciting about Curl Fest and just them being a part of my journey and figuring out how to take care of my natural hair. But now I have a, such a better relationship with my hair. Now I'm like entering a phase where I'm excited to try different hairstyles. Like even this shit I'm doing right now, y'all, I would never, you would never catch me trying to do any shit like this in my hair a couple of years ago. Or I would be begging my sister to do it. But here I am being independent, figuring this shit out. Go me. And I can't wait to be so proud of myself when I go to Curl Fest and like be like, I did my hair myself. <laughs> Y'all, I am struggling. I do not want to do this. I'm scared. I think that's what it is. That's making me struggle. When I go with confidence, when I go live around our hips and touch by safe on it, take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up all night. Baby, take your time. Let me know I go on. I go on. When you tell me around, I go on. When the neighbors see I turn down. We keep it going. That bum bum bum. Throw it back, then rotation. Take a rest in the season. Shine bright as that season. Girl, you know you are. Some sunscreen primer. Y'all, I'm not trying to do much makeup at all. I'm trying to just cover some of my blemishes, protect my skin, call it a motherfucking day. Let's 
see. Let's see. Oh, it looks fine to me. Look. Where did you put it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's giving. This is the curl fest outfit. It's giving black panel. Yes. I did my hair by myself, y'all. Y'all don't know how much like I had to come off camera and like just woosaw with myself to get this hair done. I did a good thing. Now let's go body curl fest 2024. Okay. Look at the face. I did it myself too. Yeah. Uh, we look finger licking <laughs> black oh my god they're pushing their car look mama <laughs> oh. and that's a reminder that it could always be worse I've had this shirt for probably like two years now I've officially become one of those people who has clothes and they just sit there and stare at me until years later I get inspiration slash opportunity we're literally like 20 minutes away. I'm sure the traffic in the area is increasing right about now because the fest is that bitch. You know, it's like some traffic or something. And then we're free. The time is being added on to my ECA. I don't like that. We already late. <laughs> No good food, thank you. So Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. I think we're supposed to go that way. Not good weed, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it smells like mad barbecue. I love the smell of barbecue. That's so pretty. Thank you. Do you guys have bread okay. Yeah. You gotta get the gift back. Alright. Oh, fast. <laughs>
is Mora. Hi, Mora. We're going to have a kitchen dance, right? right? Cause they're all winners in our books, right? The adults we're gonna read you for I don't care. She went up there on both of y'all to be a lot of the side of it. She's from America. Do you already know? Sweetheart, they've been quite disappointed. Pretty upset with them. If you can get them hot, get them excited to dance, I would greatly appreciate it. You think you can do that?
Trailfest 2024. How do we feel? Tired, but it was cute. It was real cute. It was cute. The rain blew mine a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but that's not Curlfest's fault. <laughs> Mother, Na Mother Nature decided that she wanted to spring some rain up on us because it was not even in the forecast to rain. It was a rainy, rainy. Paige, with her big brain, had an umbrella. <laughs> like, we were prepared and we didn't know we needed to be prepared, which, again, love you, Paige. Thank you for being my best friend. One thing I would say is that sometimes it's a little bit hard to get to all the vendors if you don't get there early enough when there's not like a whole crowd of people. But again, I don't believe in going to Curlfest for anything less than VIP because you get such great products, full size products in the VIP bag. So it's not really as much of a thing to like rush to get on the lines for the vendors themselves. But you know, you always want to experience like what they have. Like if like they were doing hair braiding and stuff like you guys saw, but Again, if you're like concerned about getting products and stuff like that, I would just say get there earlier when the crowd is less thick and you'll get what you want. That's how I usually go. I always usually go as soon as it starts. But this year, because I was invited, I was like, okay, I know I'm getting a VIP bag and I want to look crazy good because your girl needs super, what was the word? Super califragilistic, expialidocious <laughs> content. So I was like, my, how I look is very important this year. So I put, I put the extra time, I made the sacrifice. But again, regardless, I had a great time. The vibes were great, the DJs were great. The personalities on stage were great. The influencers that they had there speaking on the panels were amazing. And I love how they choose like people who are from our neighborhoods and like who grew up in the same places that we grew up to speak to us and be the influencers and show up for these events because it's just again like that relatability sometimes you know when you have influencers that are not from your same neighborhood not from your same conditions they can't really resonate you feel me but they picked some great great people as you guys saw in my video so i will definitely be at curl fest next year whether they invite me or not because i it was on my list for this year regardless and I can't wait to see how they up it next year because every year, obviously, they gotta get better and better, right? If you guys have any questions about Curlfest, any questions about my experience, any questions about anything y'all saw at Curlfest, feel free to ask. I love to talk to you guys. Like I said, y'all know I do not shut the hell up. I love talking. So give me reasons to talk. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And make sure y'all hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when I post. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Later.